Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, folks. Michael Zuber, one rental at a time, back with my good friend, Stephen Dow. How you doing, sir? I'm doing fantastic. And yourself? Oh, man, I'm doing great. Hey, one thing, uh, actually, you know what? Before I jump into my question, let's do the marketing thing first. Thank you so much. Although I work for Velocity Mortgage Capital, all the ideas and topics discussed on this channel are that of my own. And let's get it going. Yeah, one of the things I wanted to talk about here, I just, I had this conversation with Matt, the mortgage guy, I think two weeks ago. Mm -hmm. And this is really the idea of, you know, whether it's cash out refis or, uh, you know, stated income or, uh, you know, self-employed borrowers, there's really a lot of people looking at substantial equity today, whether it's right. free and clear or just, you know, huge growth. Sure. And a lot of people are looking at that being dead money, but also feel stuck. Like right. I have a hundred grand in equity. I want to use it because I can, I can buy the right assets, but they can't, they're self-employed or some other factors. Right. And um, you know, a lot of our conversations in the non-QM space have been around purchases. Sure. So I wanted to ask, you know, could you play in the cash out refi space? If 100%. so, how? Oh, OK. Let's talk about that. Oh, yeah. No, I mean, I could technically go up to 75 percent uh, LTV or loan to value cash out up to technically five million dollars on 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 uh, commercial property. Five mil? Value. Yes. Technically. Yes. So just given the circumstances, obviously, you yeah. know, uh, when we get up to that loan amount, you got to be really, really <laughs> you know, great credit, all that good stuff, you know, so, but definitely within guidelines, I can go up to 5 million, but um, for what you talked about, it, I think it would be very relevant, especially right now for landlords on like, say, apartment buildings that are right. going through, you know, these eviction moratoriums getting extended. So in order for them to tap into any, any equity, if they go for conventional financing, they're, they're not going to be able to show anything on their tax returns for income because, yeah. You haven't gotten a check. So that's where we come in, stated income. You can tap into that as well. The fact that maybe you need a you know, bridge loan because these eviction moratoriums have, have caused you know havoc on your finances. So for the time being, if you need to tap in that equity, you can do so without having to go through conventional you know uh, 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 strategies. But yeah. using our programs, um, you can technically do that. And all I need to typically is at least 70% occupied. And then if the loan amount is below 500000 for refinances, no DCR or no debt coverage ratio required. So it does wow. give you a lot of flexibility, especially in the smaller markets to where maybe the rents haven't caught up to then be able to support or justify the loan amount, but we can still play in that space. Okay, great. I love that. I did not know that. We've I, I failed. I should have talked about refis earlier with you. I'm yeah. sorry. That's so okay. the other thing I'm thinking about, again, I've been borrowing money for a long time. Usually when you do a cash out refi, rates are higher because you and I talked about roughly speaking, not putting you on the spot. That's okay. Around six percent. Right now, does a cash out refi mean an extra half point for this or that reason? Wow, man, you just said it perfectly. So yes, it would be typically about a half percent higher rate for refinances. Okay. All right. Um, but again, you know, given certain circumstances, I'm pretty flexible. You know, if you've got compensating factors, this is where you would come to me, and we could figure out some you know other ways as far as pricing options for you. Yeah. Uh, but there's there's different options where we can you know definitely reduce the rate. That's very interesting. So again, you'll do you'll do self-employed borrowers who are having a hard time with traditional mortgages today. Hundred percent. I mean, we're really. I, I I'd like to say that we're you know the the, the nationwide self-employed lender because again, yeah, right now you are. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Uh, again, the, we're talking again on a refi. I could theoretically do a two million dollar cash out refi on an apartment with thirty year fixed rate money. Correct. With a 10 year interest only option for the first 10 years. So That's if amazing. again, something, you know, happens and you need a little bit of relief, you don't have to now refinance out of something stable as far as fixed yeah. to then getting something, you know, short term. And then yeah, you, you have no idea, environment, you know, yeah. you have no idea how powerful that is because again, my options back in 2010 were to go get hard money, which a, at B. best was a one, one, right. You have a one year term and you could buy another year, but that right. was it. Right. Dude, two, two years goes by so fast when you're turning an apartment. It's so stressful. Right. Right. And, so, and especially right now during oh, these times, those two years, really. <laughs> oh, just, you could not imagine how stressful. So again, in theory, I can come in. The rates are going to be higher than traditional sure. banks. Who cares? Right. You're going to get the, the, the structure for as long as you need it and then some. And then, Correct. hey, four or five years from now, it's better. Self-employed borrowers can finally borrow again with the bank. You just refi right. out and you whack the rate. Correct. Correct. I like that. <laughs> okay. So again, this could be apartments. It could be mixed use. It yep. could be houses. Oh, it has to be, it can't be owner occupied. Correct. As far as the, the one to four unit residential, you cannot live in that. But as far as a 
the, the whole house hacking, maybe apartment hacking. Yeah. If you've got, you know, five or more units, you live above, in one yeah. of the units, that's fine. You know what I mean? Or how even about, the mixed use. Uh, how about, a, okay, I want to challenge you again. I have no idea yeah. how you're going to answer this. Let's sure. say I own 10 houses in Cleveland, yes. Ohio. Okay. I'm assuming you lend in Cleveland. I guess I should have. 100%. Cleveland's okay. a great market. Yep. Okay, great. Because, yeah, whatever. So yeah. again, let's say I let's say they're all worth uh, 100 grand. Again, sure. I don't know what they go for in Cleveland. So that's okay. a million bucks. 10 right. times 100 is a million bucks. Right. Let's assume I own them all free and clear. Yes, sir. Could I, in theory, do one refi and just do a whole portfolio? Again, assuming I want to hold them forever. I can't peel them Correct. off, all that. 100%. <laughs> I'll give you 750000 in less than 20 days. <laughs> oh, dude, that's not fair. Yeah. <laughs> What the hell? But again, and then, oh yeah. And if you're giving me all 10, I'm going to structure it to where I'll charge you just full cost on the first loan, but then every additional loan included is going to be at a, at a huge re, uh, reduction in, in fee. So we're going to save them a ton of money as well. Yeah. So if you have dead money in apartments or commercial and you're looking to leverage that into other assets before, because again, in theory, I could come to you here because it's mm -hmm. easier and faster, but I know I'll pay more because I'll right. refi later. Correct. And that would allow me to get in this example, 750 grand. I could, in theory, deploy elsewhere and get bank money, right? In theory. Right, right, right. <laughs> That's just not fair. Well, it gives people a lot more options now that they didn't have back, back in the days as far as being able to tap into, like you said, dead money. You know, mm -hmm. Just give it the circumstances or the change in, in the finance market to where the programs yeah. that were available to allow you to tap in that go, you know, up yeah. in the air, but then now with our programs, it's so much flexible uh, uh, options to where given the circumstances, the change in strategy, property type, transaction type, we can pretty much, like I said, like a Swiss army knife in financers. So, yeah. you know, it's always good to have us in your back pocket. Yeah, if you have if you have dead money or dead equity in a commercial building or, or a collection of portfolios and you want to do something with it, you need to reach out to Stephen Dow immediately just to discuss options. How do you want Definitely. them to do that? Email please sdow at velocitymortgage.com. And yep. uh, I'll do that. Yeah. It is below. Um, do me a favor, put in the title ORAT, O R A A T, ORAT stands yes. for one rental at a time. Please. Uh, that'll get through the uh, firewall, firewall or whatever stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, Stephen, this, this, has been, um, this has been a fun day, right? We talked about fix and flips. We talked yep. about buying an, an owner's portfolio and using firsts yep. and seconds. Yep. And now we're, we're not uh, tapping into that portfolio. Damn. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to have to look at it. It's, it's, I'm excited by what I'm going to be able to do with this. So, Stephen, thank you very much. Enjoy your day. And happy birthday, okay, by the way. Both. Happy birthday. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it, man. Take care.